press over the mortise again and get normal range of motion as opposed to having to collapse here to get normal rocker motion. Well, the stretching, <clears throat> if the muscles are chronically shortened, it's necessary. But if they're reactively tight, neurologically protective, so to speak, because there's a difference between tightness and shortness, and we talk about this in our, in our video series. If they're neurologically tight, the only way to address that neurologic, the release of that neurologic tightness is to address the weakness in the front. Okay, some of the tightness back here maybe because you don't have enough strength to finish the pull across the front. So the bottom line in this is that posterior compartment tightness is really important to address or posterior compartment shortness is really important to address. You need to be able to, to uh, discriminate which one it is because the treatments are completely different but also any increased tension, tone or tightness or shortness in the posterior compartment will inhibit the amount of degrees of rocker ankle rocker which will then cause some compromise here. Just to summarize you can see that when this collapses this ankle rocker this tripod slides forward okay whereas if I had normal ankle rocker motion you could move over top of a stable tripoded foot without collapsing the arch. The problem being that when this tripod moves forward and collapses the distance between the heel and the forefoot increases they're splaying apart that can lead to things like plantar fasciitis but more importantly in our opinion is that when this arch drops down and the first met starts to what we say dorsiflex you start to impair the motion across the big big toe joint the metatarsal phalangeal joint that impairs the degree of extension at the joint which means you can't toe off appropriately and this can lead to hallux limitus, painful hallux limitus, functional hallux limitus and eventually hallux rigidus, all of which are pathologies either functional or ablative at that first metatarsal phalangeal joint. These types of problems can lead to a bunion formation as you can see here as you start to collapse the arch this toe wants to go west if you will which can create a valgus angulation and start some bunion forming. Basically, impaired ankle rocker because of posterior compartment tightness or dysfunction or increased tone, perhaps from just increased training miles and not offsetting the increased tone and tightness and strength in the back with increased strength and functional capabilities in the front will lead to pathology of the foot down here. And so in some of our DVDs, we address some of the exercises for this to try and help this and, and retrain this so that the tripod is more stable and the anterior compartment is stronger, allowing more length out of here, better function across the joint. So visit us at our websites, homunculusgroup.com or uh, thegateguys.com or wantogetfast.com. Uh, go back to the beginning of this video and you'll see those websites listed and you can... Uh, Look at some of our information, download some of our DVDs, get some of our free podcasts, uh, get on some of the blogs with the Wanna Get Fast coaches. So thanks for your time.